Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at partial order relation which is defined on projections. Right? So this is quite an important result here which will further be used in order to prove for more results about projections and in order to study the spectral properties of self-adjoint and bounded linear operators. Right? So let's have a look at the result here. The theorem here, it's tell, it tells us that whenever we have P1 and P2 as two projections, so these are given to be two projections which are defined on a Hilbert space. So that means we are given that this P1 that is a projection, basically it is a linear map which maps whole of the given Hilbert space onto the space which is Y1. And we have P2 which is the projection which maps whole of this Hilbert space to the space which is Y2, right? So the, that is given to us and this Y1, Y2, they are the spaces onto which these projections are mapped, right? And corresponding to this proje projection here, the first projection corresponding to this projection, we can uh, we have the null space written by n p one, and the null space corresponding to projection p two is n p two, right? So they are saying that the following conditions are equivalent in this case. So we have these five conditions. So they say that in this case, they, uh, we have a uh, commutation of this kind so that p2 is equal to p2 p1 is equal to p1 p2 and further they are equal to p1 and for that we have y1 contained in y2 this is the result right the third statement it tells that the null space p1 is contain containing the null space p2 this is the third result the fourth result is that the norm of p1x is less than equal to p2x and using this thing we uh, will achieve our fifth result that would be p1 less than equal to p2 so here all these five statements are true whenever one of them is given to be true and whenever p1 and p2 are given to be projections so this is quite an important result why because whenever you have any of these five conditions or you are given p1 and p2 are projections then you could use any other four among these results right so we'll be looking at the proof of this theorem in the next video well that is it for this video thank you for watching